so basically um in this video we are not going to do too much i want us to quickly um set up our google gemini um ai inside our front-end project or inside the front-end part of our application okay so um basically we could have used open ai search pt um but we all know how expensive that can get and also we don't really have enough free tiers to use at the very beginning when we use chat gpt and so no we are not going to use that a much more free option is it's actually uh, google gemini so we can do the google gemini pricing can go to like the pricing section and uh i think we have to scroll down i think uh, I don't know. This is weird. Yeah, Google Gemini pricing. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, yeah. As you can see, uh, for the free of charge, you have like a, a huge, you know, range, a huge number of things to work with. You know, especially, especially for the fact that it is, um. Uh, the free version all right and you know gemini all right so um now that we understand the things that we are supposed to work with all right inside our google gemini let us let's just start okay let's just start integrating our ai into our application all right so yeah um uh the first thing we want to do is we first of all want to get um a public key okay now we could have just come and then see something like we could have just come and said something like uh google gemini so gemini api key right and then i'll click on this or yeah or even this one this one, i'll just click on this one straightforward it just to get to the ai studio da, da, da. and then i think you click on create new api key and then to add you see another create new api key here so you just click on that and you get your new api key and then you copy it then once you copy it let me click on this one no api key so i'll just copy this and then once you copy it right what you want to do is you want to quickly come to your front end especially inside your emv right and then you scroll down here so you scroll down here and then you say let, let me squeeze it right here then you say that you want to say vits let's remember capital so vits gemini public key Vite Gemini public key. So we have the V Gemini public key. I'll just paste that. If you like to, we can put that inside um, our string literals. So um, you can see that it's here. All right. Now that we've been able to add the um, now that we've been able to add the public key, uh, you can see that I have created a new folder here called libs or library. Right. Now the library folder is the places where you keep you know the external or or the like other people's applications maybe you need the api keys to run them like like for example the uh, uh, gemini thing that we are setting up here right so inside here what we are going to do is just going to create like a new file and then name it gemini.js okay so inside gemini.js what we can do is we can come here all right I already opened it up here but you know how i was able to get this was i came and i came to search i was like gemini api new js you see right and then you just click on the first one and then you select new js mm -hmm. and then you are quick to go so yeah let's just you know i think when you come you just scroll down right you scroll down and then let's select this one we need just this one right 
we need just this one but before that you can see that it's telling us to import a couple of things right I think it's this one so let's just copy this and then we'll, I'll just split the terminal here I'll CD into the front end and then I'll just paste and then I'll add the force flag remember we are using react 19 all right okay so um you have the force flag attached to this and it is working like how we want it to work right uh, it has been able to get installed i can just close this so we can have space inside our terminal then right after working with this what we are going to do is i'm just going to copy this and then paste I can just uncomment this real quick. We all know that we are using V, so we just change this to import dot meta dot env, right? Then we we'll come here, copy the name, and then we'll go back and put the name here, right? Then right after doing this, there's one more thing that we need to set up. That is the settings, all right? So like that's like for safety and stuff, right? So now for us to be able to work out the safety thing, you're going to come to the safety settings here, and then we scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and for the Node.js, we just come here and then quickly copy this safety settings. So you just come here, copy the safety settings, paste it here. And then over here, we just export. So export model, yeah. And now that we have we are exported the model, we want to make sure that this model is using the safety settings. So we'll come here and then we'll pass the safety settings here. All right, yeah, that's it. So yeah. I mean that's all so yeah so that's all for setting up our google gemini inside our react 19 project and in the next we're going to be taking this package that we're able to set up right this function that we've been able to set up we're going to take this package and then we're going to set up the uh the um the answer generation right so using our gemini api so yeah hopefully i'll see you in the next video bye